Okay guys, this is a quick tutorial or, or how to get your uh, Google authorship recognition within Google search engine results. And I'll quickly show you what that means. Um, an example that I found, oops, let's type in Captain, I wish I could spell, America Social Media. Now if we look at the search results here, this is what I'm talking about. This is Google is giving authorship recognition to people with the content and what they're doing is they're placing um, the thumbnails of people. So essentially what they want is they, if you've got a Google profile and you set it up so that your Google profile is linked to your web page or the content that you create, then you will be uh, given recognition for that content. So if you've got a website it would be highly advantageous for you to set this up so that you can be recognized for your content and it makes you stand out in the search engine results. Okay, It uh, identifies you as the author and it allows you to, well essentially this is going to be the death of duplicate content as far as I'm concerned and it's going to help uh, you rank better, it's going to get traf more traffic to your site and identify you as an expert in your niche. So, first thing we want to do is we want to go to a website and we want to make sure we have an about me page or a page that has a link about you alright so on my page here on ozdogweb.com.au I've created an about page on this page I've got a link here as you can see now you can see on the bottom left hand side what it's doing is it's linking to my Google profile okay and if I go over to Google and uh, if I click on here and go to profile now I've already got a profile it's easy enough to do if you haven't got a profile click on the link oh, but if you've already and you have a Google Plus account it will automatically default to your Google Plus account okay now up here in the address bar you'll see this link up until that last number that's your Google profile account alright if you don't have a Plus account you'll see um, profile instead of Plus and then there'll be a number after it. Okay, so that's the link you want to copy. And then what we want to do is we want to go into our page. So I'm going to my About Me page. And as you can see here, I'll just pull up the visual side of sort of WordPress. Here's my link. Alright, so I'm going to highlight that, click on the link, and you'll see that I've got that linking to my profile. It goes to plus, but that's my Google profile. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to edit this link. So I go into the raw HTML and I want to put the rel me tag in that link. Alright, so that's step one. We put the rel me tag in the link on our about me page and we link it to our Google profile account. The next step we do is we go to our Google profile account. Once we're in there, we click on edit profile. Alright, on the right hand side here, you're going to see these things called links. So we click on links and I've already added a custom link but all you do is essentially just add, add a custom link and what we want to do and I'll just show you because I've already done it up here I'm going to click on this little pen we want to put the link to our about page so we just simply copy that URL there we go into our Google Plus account paste it in there and we want to put a tick in this box by default it's not in there what this does is it automatically adds the rel me tag from your Google profile which links to your about me page okay so from our about me page we link to our profile from our profile we link to our about me page so that's the first two steps now the next step is we need we need to have a link on every page on our site that links to our about me page but it must have the rel author tag rel equals author now with WordPress, there's a few tutorials on the internet that show people how to put it in code and and uh, put it at the bottom of posts and the bottom of pages and all that sort of jazz. But the easiest way I found is to simply add it in the footer. If you look at this here, what I've done is I've in the footer of WordPress, I've added a link in the bottom left. You can see it links to my About Me page. But what I've done, if we go into the appearance, when you WordPress, click on appearance and then click on editor. And then we want to edit our footer. So over here on the right hand side in the theme you're in, we click on footer. And these here, once it appears, are the links 
that appear at the bottom of my page. All right? I've edited these um, before, but usually I think it's powered, designed by whoever designed the theme and powered by WordPress. So I've just edited them for, for my purposes. And what I've done is I've put in the link to my About Me page and I've put in rel equals author. All right? Now that tag tells Google that that link is the author URL. It's, it's a, a tag that basically tells Google this is the author of the site um, and because my Google profile account has my thumbnail, this thumbnail will start appearing in my Google search results. All right. Now if we go to the Google to, now, and to make sure it all works, so we want to test it and see if it all works, I'm going to grab that page, that URL, and we go to this URL here. Um, it's the Google Rich Snippets tool, google.com slash webmaster slash tool slash rich snippets. And let's just copy that in there, click on preview, and what it will do is it will preview what this particular page is going to look like in the search engine results. And if everything has worked, we'll see our thumbnail there, we'll see um, oh, there's a LinkedIn author profile, there's a Google profile, clicks to a Google profile, and it's got my name and it's been verified. If it doesn't work, this is going to come up red and this is going to pop up here. There's my phone, hang on a sec. Okay, so there you go. It's all working. It will start appearing in your Rich Snippets tool and your content will start uh, in search engine results will start looking like this with your title tags, um, web page and your authorship thumbnail. So that's how you will start seeing your pretty little thumbnail all over the internet. Um, there you go guys, I hope you find it useful, I hope you found it informative. Please leave some comments below if you found this useful. Don't forget to click that plus one button and um, fire off any questions or, or queries if you've got and I can help you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.